Let's help you understand how the uh, tree search feature in the tree node class works. So I would like to show you something that uh, that will be very useful for your uh, uh, exploration of the features. So if you simply go under, just uh, let's locate the feature first. Go under trees and go to tree node over here. And then you can see, uh, either you can go to the features panel over here, you will see tree search. Okay, it's uh, over here. Okay, that's a, that's the one we want to talk about. And also, you already got some hints over here. I'll let you, I'll let you read it. I'll just demonstrate some scenario to give you an, a better idea. And then, so now I want to know which test cases I should really look at in the start a test class. Of course, you can simply do a very simple string search of a tree search in the in that particular class. However, that's not really the best way to go. So I will show you this. Remember in the introductory tutorial, we show you how you can find out the ancestor or descendants of, of a particular class. You just follow the same procedure and then you can find out the callers and callees for a particular feature. And then you can find a very useful information from there. So we simply go, okay, so now you can see the feature panel over here. If you, if you don't see it, again, you can simply say view and then towards layout and reset towards layout and then you will see it, okay? So now uh, we will we'll choose the callers in just a moment. What I gotta do is highlight uh, the name of the feature of which is tree search. Right click, so you will see the green cross over there, and then move the mount, uh, move your cursor, and then uh, right click to drop over here. Okay, so now we it's already here, but now we want to. So this is the 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 button there. That's for you to set a breakpoint, but that's not what we want for now. What we want to do is you can see over here, there's a button here called callers. We want to find out all the clients for this particular feature. So if you simply click on that, so this is very useful here. So it's telling you in the starter code you are given. So these are the four. Uh, so these are the five. One, two, three, four, five. The five test queries in this particular starter tests uh, class, they actually make use of the tree search. So this is the precise documentation you will have to read through to see how the tree search is supposed to work. Okay, I'll, I'll let you read through them, but I'm gonna just show you very quickly some test cases from there, okay? If you want to go to a particular one, what you gotta do is you can right click on this particular one, let's say, and then you'll simply, uh, you'll see a green cross again, and then simply right click to create a new tab over here. So that's exactly where uh, the uh, uh, tree search is being used, okay? So I'll let you read through uh, the uh, uh, test tree search three, four, five, six, seven. So all of them, okay? Let me just uh, chose one of, uh, I, ch I chose some of them just to show you the uh, abstract idea very quickly, okay? So now we have different cases over here. Let's talk about the simplest case. How do you search on an empty tree? And the one I want to talk about is the case number three over here. You can see that from the class as well. I'll let you do it. And then we still have our integer key, okay? And then we simply just create L nodes over here, make external. So that means the L node over here is pointing to some external nodes. So the tree is simply conceptually empty. And then we simply say L node dot tree search. And then we want to search for the key value one. Okay, you can think about value one is going to be uh, sought from this particular empty tree. So you can think about, we simply start from over here and then this is, like a base case of your recursive routine. If you if you see that this is already an external node, that means we are we are, we should really terminate our uh, our search. In that case, it's simply just going to return exactly the same external node over here. So what's going to be returned over here is just going to be the same external node. That's a basic case. So that's why you can see it's very important for you to see that we are using. Uh, reference equality over here to actually compare the return value and also the uh, uh, the uh, L node, okay, which is here, okay. You can think about the return value and, and also L node, they are pointing to the same object. So that's the base case, okay. Just make sure you understand the base case. And let's talk about another two re uh, recursive cases over here. They are not difficult. You learned, you learned about them in the previous data structure course already, okay. Let's just review very quickly. Remember from the previous video, we talked about this particular tree structure from the uh, test environments. I assume you have watched that video already and understood, okay? So now we got root int int. So that's the tree we try to do the search on. And also that's the particular list. Let me just remind you very quickly about the aliasing. For example, you can see this particular node is the root, right? So root int int, that is actually stored on index four. So if you use reference comparison, and then you will simply say note list int int. 
So that's the array list we talk about at index four. So if you try to compare them using uh, reference equality over here, it's going to give you true. Okay, it's a very quick show, uh, showing. Okay, so now we have called this particular environments in int from the test environment class to set up the tree. And now all we do is we try to test several cases. You can think about every one of them is going to use the reference comparison to make sure you really return. So if the search is on an existing key, it's going to return that particular internal node specifically. So that's why we're using reference equality. And then we are using a cross loop, which you also learned from the previous uh, video in the introductory, in the introduction. So we are trying, excuse me, we are really trying to uh, test uh, several scenarios at one go. And then we are using all, which means every one of them should succeed. And the final result is going to be res uh, assigned to the result, which is a Boolean for the test query, right? That's what we're doing here. And then let's say from one until node int uh, uh, note list int int dot count. So that means we're trying value one, value two, value three, all the way to nine, right? I'm just I'm put uh, I'm circling indices just to tell you it's the uh, the element. So it's really about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So these are the nine iterations we're gonna run through. For every iteration, we're gonna try that. For example, let's say for one of them, when you say you want to, uh, let's say. When you say tree search over here, let's say I, if it, I happens to be five, for example, okay? So what, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the root over here, and then we know that five is larger than this particular root. So we gotta go this way over here. And then five is actually less than seven, so we gotta go this way over here. And then, so now we, uh, so now just be careful when you read the ASCII, ASCII diagram over here. So six is really the uh, the left child of seven over here. And then we want to compare. So five is also less than uh, six, so we should really go to its left subtree. So now the five over here is really the left subtree over here, right? It's not really to, to three. Uh, uh, it's not supposed to be connected to three. Just be careful when you read it, okay? So now, so we go to the left subtree of, uh, of six, and then now we have the hits. So now that means the, the node we're going to return from this particular successful search is going to be this particular node. And as I said before, every node has been inserted for their references into this particular uh, array list. So that means this particular return value will be exactly the same as this particular reference. So that's why we're comparing in the fifth iteration uh, these two, right? So this part over here on the left-hand side is this particular return node. And this part over here on the right-hand side is talking about this reference over here, and they should be the same, okay? So that's about existing key. So you will do the same uh, uh, arguments for every uh, other uh, successful search, and then you should do this recursively when you implement it. Okay, very quickly about, what about non-existing key, which means the search wouldn't exist? Okay, so let me first of all fix my diagram quickly. Okay, so now the five over here should be a left child over here, and the nine over here should be a right child over here. Okay, just uh, you know, the version of my diagram is a little bit out of place, but anyway. So let's see how we can do a non-existing key search. And we only got two cases over here. We simply try, for example, not, uh, mine is 999. Apparently it's a non-existing key, that's too small. And also 999 is also too large, right? We'll just try these two. So for example, let's say, let me talk about uh, before I talk about the result, you should really understand conceptually. So every node that has a store key value over there, there should be in internal nodes. And every internal nodes at the bottom level should have exactly uh, the left child and right child being external. So that's how we should visualize it. So you can think about here, under one, we got external, external over here. Under the five, we got external and external. And under the six, we got external. And the left child of eight should also be external. And also for the three over here, that should also be external. Okay, you get the idea. Uh, and also for nine as well. Okay, so now let's talk about what it means when we search for, let's say the first case, let's say search for something that's really too small. So if you try to say start from the root over here, minus 999, okay? Apparently it will go all the way to the left, right? until this will be the last internal node that we can check its value. Apparently, 999 is still smaller, smaller than that. So that means we'll simply just go to this particular left child over here. And since we are reaching the external, the recursion should terminate. So this will be the external that we will, re we will return. 
So this is why what you will see is, first of all, what's going to be returned from the left hand side over here is this particular uh, node here. So what's returned over here is this node here. And then how can we get to the reference? Because now you can see we're doing reference comparison again. So what we do is we simply, we know the reference for this particular node. Uh, that's kind of the leftmost node. So here, it's, it's reference. And then uh, that one there, we can simply use its uh, left child. So if you simply say that one to the left, right? That's why you're saying here, the left will be equal to exactly this node that we, uh, we are returning. So we are saying, uh, this return node over here, and also the very first node down left. And then these two are, they are reference equal, okay? Similarly, if you try some value that is too large over here, what's gonna happen is, let me just use a different color to show you. If we try 999 over here, you'll go all the way to the right. And then you can see the final value will be nine, and then 999 will still be larger than that. So we will actually get to this particular return node, which is the right child of uh, this. So this is return value, which will be the right child of the last node over here. That's why you see the last, the right. So that's exactly what we're doing here. So we again, we are using reference comparison. So the key thing for you to remember is when you do a search, if that's the search is successful on an existing key, in that case, you return the corresponding internal nodes, like what we're showing here in the previous case. If the, the search failed, because the search, uh, the key to be sought would be simply just non-existing. In that case, it will be just returning a, 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 an external node, as we illustrated, okay? Understand this before you move on. 